Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again, somewhere in the middle of the wilderness. And, uh, well, actually, it's not really the middle of the wilderness, but it is uh, a nice little castle. Righty. In it to win it. Wait a minute. Don't we know these fellas? No, we don't. You bury off right. Thank you. Uh, okay. I just take this fella out real quick, real quick, and bang! Oh, oh. Not enough damage though. Three, two, one. Ah. For some reason, it's very difficult to aim with this stuff. Very weird. So, and down here we have nothing, of course. So we are on the uh, auto ramparts, right? This is actually. Think where you can continue a little bit. Try down and then price is something incredible. <laughs> the something. Uh, uh yeah. Zombies and stuff. There's nothing incredible. Hmm. They mind are enemies. That's incredible. The rest, not so much. I mean I could try to sit down on the uh, bonfire a little bit. That means I can Maybe spew a wee bit more fire down here. Okay, that should be pretty much all of them. Except for this thing, of course. Hmm. Praise is something incredible, my ass. There's nothing. Ex oh! That is it. Okay. Champion song painting. Nice. Hey, wait, that's something special. Ah, another one of those starlight thingies. Oh, there we have it. It's a giant. I, uh... Oh, Malay Marius Shaded Castle Castellan. We got it. No rod this time. And, oh, and spell rape here. Mariah's mask, a robe, and that's it. No, 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 no. There we go. Perfect. Golem helmet. But rod doesn't scale with anything anyway. Spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with Scarlet Rod. Scarlet Rod is an old legend of which Malay Marais of the Shady Castle was a private believer, and indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Yeah, why don't we just... And we got it. Clean Rod Helm. Hmm. Either they finished off the enemy before I was getting into involved in it. Hmm. That is really weird. Are these statues or oh, Valkyrie's prophecy? Pr prophesis. It's uh probably a key item. Oh, how is Marius's ruin just desert deserts for falling for that severed harpy? So it's a pr no surprise that guilty Krotai took the castle and our storied sword. Sword? Aha, perfume bottles. Perfect. I do hear an awful lot of bells ringing. And that could be a candidate for a hidden wall down there. <laughs> it's so obvious. So obvious that it is not one. Righty. Uh, item, yes. Oh, perfume is cooked. Finally. Ah, okay. Just one level higher. Let's move this thing further down. What do we find? Oh, patches! You look at that. Oh, I, 
I had a bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. Throwing no people matter. off cliffs. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Oh, Dan's is Kisten, yes. Right. Oh, it's, it's nothing, it's just. Makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Come on, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. Hmm. You're able then? Then I can rest easy, my friend. Patches can't die. Is he moving? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So, let's see. Why is it always weak foe? Oh, thank you. Let's hope that this what wait a minute. Nah, uh, only four appraisals, but let's just hope that this is true. Do we have enough not enough mana though? Okay. Let's stock up on this. So we can summon the good guy once we're in there. I should have used Ackerman for that one though. Oh, it's this dude. You don't know who's getting targeted here. Oh. Alright. Not again. Okay, now we got the deep going out. Perfect. It's dangerous. Let's heal once more, and the boss fight should be over in a moment. There we go. The Rise Executioner Sword. There, and the Great Shield. Sweetie. So let's just quickly go back to Tanith and talk to her about the Castanets and so on. And Patches is gone, obviously. Uh, give the dance against the dance, yes. I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is not easily consumed. There we go. I have a nice arm for you if you want it. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Hmm. Are you giving me this arm? Oh, thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think if the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Or you could have just used your left hand instead. If the arms... Can't even open up the map right now. Why? Eh. So, let's use the stone sword key. And with a bit of luck, this thing will not be as difficult. Oh boy. Oh no. Ah, bollocks. The earth attacks always annoying. For some reason, I cannot pummel the dude. That is so weird. But the small dagger, it just works too well. Think about it. Yeah. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going for the shield still. What's it doing? One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Okay. Okay. Ah, that was 
I tried to evade the attack and not actually use the iframes, which is not good. One, two, nothing. And again. One, two, nothing. Alright. there. And he does the same thing again. Giving us the opportunity to do like two attacks and... Whoop, nope. I rolled a little too late. And that one gets really far away. And we got it. Because of the overpoweredness of this stupid dagger. Can't believe it. Godfrey Icon. Hmm. A legendary talisman depicting the Elden Lord Godfrey. It raises charge attack, power of sorceries, incantations and skills. Godfrey was a ferocious warrior when he vowed to become a lord. He took the beast region Sarosh upon on his back to suppress the ceaseless lust for battle that raged within. So, does it spawn those giants back? Oh, 30,000 flat. Perfect. Well, no, it's not 30,000. 130,000 flat. And the giants are back again. Right. It does just take a wee bit in order to summon those fellas. And then there's still this rune. Ah! Ah! Okay. Let's do a wee bit of grinding and then we can explore the grand lift and whatever is somewhere here in the south afterwards. Until next time then, like and subscribe as usual and uh ta-ta. Hey.